everyone. Welcome to the live press conference for one of Viva's gems, Sarah Labati. It was five wonderful years since Sarah decided to sign with Viva. And I know that you're all excited as she renews her contract under the same management. But before we start our press conference, we would like to thank our good friends from the press and to everyone who is watching right now. My name is Giselle Sanchez Buencamino, reigning noble queen of the universe international. Few minutes lang makakasama na natin at makakachikahan na natin ang beautiful and talented actress na si Sarah Labati. Okay, so let me tell you more about her. This talented actress ta signed with Viva Artist Agency last 2015. She did several and remarkable projects under Viva, katulad ng Pagsanib kay Lea de la Cruz at Kamandag ng Droga, kung saan siya ay mas na-showcase sa kanyang galing sa pag-arte. Hindi lang siya magaling umarte, kundi magaling ding humataw sa pagsayaw. Siya lang naman ang tinaguri ang dance goddess ng longest Sunday noontime variety show na asa. She is also one of the most influential actress in the industry. At kabilat kanan ang kanyang endorsement na natatanggap. At ito ang nagpapatunay dyan. That's why we're glad to announce na siya ay mananatili sa pangangalaga ng Viva at asahan ninyo na mas marami pang exciting projects ang dapat abangan sa kanya. So, let's not delay this any further. Let's all welcome the ever beautiful and talented at napakabait po nito na aktres, Sarah Labati. Hi, Sarah! Would you like to say a few words to our friends from the press and to everyone who is watching right now? Hi, Ate Giselle. Hello sa lahat po ng press. Magandang hapon. Thank you for that wonderful, wonderful intro. First of all, uh, I'm so, so happy uh, that I'm renewing with Viva. I give the glory to God. And I want to thank all our press people for being here with us today. And of course, you, Ate Giselle. Thank you again for that introduction. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Sarah. So I'm going to call first the first uh, five uh, beloved members of the press to ask you questions. And I'd like to remind all our press people not to open your uh, your cameras and your audio or uh, mute it first unless I call you. So when I call you, um, then you can uh, you can start uh, your questions. Just uh, we are limiting to two questions each. But then, you know, if you know, I think naman we have the time today. So if you want to ask more, I guess it's OK. Mabait naman yan si Sarah. OK, so uh, hi, Don Don. Long time no see. Super tagal. Oh, grabe, no? It's parang, parang kailan pa mga... Na ba? Mga 20 minutes ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> Para pa yung shirt mo, pa rin yung shirt mo. <laughs> okay, so you... Sarah, uh, good luck sa panibagong concept mo sa Viva. Pero ikaw ba, Sarah, willing ka, pa, willing ka ba talagang magtrabaho ngayong pandemic? And ano bang mga restrictions ni Richard sa'yo na pwede mo lang gawin at hindi mo pwedeng gawin? Hi, Sir Don Don. Thank you for being here. Um, yes, we uh, ready to work. It's been it's been a while uh, since I've been active on the screen, so I'm very excited to work again. Regarding um, taping, because we alam po natin na kailangan uh, lock in ang taping. We just have to schedule it in a way na may may iwan sa mga bata, uh, or you know, we just have to schedule it properly para kasi very hands-on ako sa kids but if it's scheduled properly I think everything should be fine. Mm -hmm. So wala naman problema kay Richard kung mag-taping ka na or mag in taping ka if ever tapos na rin siya sa ang probinsyano? Uh, well if matapos siya sa probinsyano po it would, it would be better para uh, may kasama yung kids. As, again as long as we can fix our schedules properly then it will be fine. Okay, last ko na, last question ko lang pa habol ko na lang to kasi one year na to hindi ko pa nagagamit. Kailan ba namin to magagamit? Ah. <laughs> Nako, so, um waiting lang ko hindi ko pa rin to eh. You know, I hindi ko rin po talaga alam uh, napaka-uncertain ng times natin ngayon. Ang iniisip ko na lang how lucky and how grateful I am na healthy tayong lahat, healthy yung family ko. Um, but of course, I still want to wear my wedding dresses. So hopefully one day, pag medyo stable na, 
uh, ang, ang uh, pandemic. I don't know yet. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Stay sexy. And thank stay you, Sir Don Don. Okay. Thank you, Po. Thanks, Don Don. And now I'd like to call Anna Pingol of Pika Pika. Hi, Mare. Good afternoon, Sarah. No. Good afternoon, Miss Anna. <laughs> uh, actually, ang question ko regarding sa mga anak mo na ang cute, ang, ang lalaki na, no? Um, ang tawag dito, sino yung lumalabas na very Sarah yung ugali at sino yung very Richard sa dalawang bata? Um, si Zion, very Labati. Uh, Kai is very Gutierrez. <laughs> si Zion uh, is more kuwai. <laughs> mas maingay si, mas ano, mas Rama Gutierrez si Kai. Mas out there, mas jolly, mas maingay. Si, si Zion naman, on the other hand, syempre meron siyang personalities of Richard. Uh, lalo na ngayon, we're all getting into motocross. Uh, as a family, nagmo-motocross kami. And it's something that Chard loves doing. So medyo hati-hati, but Zion is more like me and Kai is more like Chard. Ayun po. Uh, itong renewal sa Viva, ano yung may expect namin gagawin mo in the coming hmm. Um, definitely po, I'll be on screen more. As you all know, I've been uh, laying low and being a mom, which I love doing. But uh, I decided I'm ready to work again, to be visible on screen. I miss dancing. I miss my asset family. Um, and I miss acting also. So I'll be more visible and perhaps try hosting as well. So merong teleserye in the, um, uh, in the offing? Yes, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> okay, welcome back. I welcome Thank back. You, Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Anna. And next we have Tita Aster. Hi, Tita. Hello again. Hi, Giselle. Hello. Of course. Long time. <laughs> long time. Super long time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can ask Sarah your question. Hi, Sarah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ms. Yeah. Leia. Hi, nakikita na lang namin kayo sa IG post, di ba? Kasi lalo, lalo na ikaw, I mean, especially you, because you have not been visible on the on the screen. So, what was the last film that you made? And is there an, a plan for you to to make another movie soon? Kahit na um, online, online lang? Or ano pa yung plans ng Viva for you in the coming months? Um, so the last film I made po was Ang Pagsanib kay Lea de la Cruz. It was an indie film, which I enjoyed doing. But when right now, that? a long time ago. Uh, yes, again. <laughs> right now, right now, kami po ni Chard, we're both, um, we're both brainstorming ideas on a film. Kasi excited ako bumalik. And I want to do an action film, hopefully one day. Or, wow. Uh, okay. So... so Kami ni Chard were brainstorming on ideas. We're talking to directors. And hopefully we can present to Viva soon. Uh, and I can get back to on the screen very, very soon. Uh, we'll see where, on which platforms go uh, online or, uh, or what. But again, it's, 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 uh, it's nice that we have different uh, avenues for, for films and for series. So exciting times ahead for all right. When it comes to the two boys, just in case they show signs of being showbiz inclined, then any of them, will you uh, allow allow them to pursue acting or joining showbiz? Um, honestly, I'd rather not. Um, okay. I'd rather not. But if talagang pagpilite nila, then they have to know. Uh, what they're entering, they need to know how to work hard and uh, know all the principles and everything that comes along with showbiz, the showbiz life. So, you know, ako naman po with my kids, I will always show support whatever path they choose in life. As long as they're level-headed and they're ready for whatever they want to do, I'll support. But I would rather not. <laughs> As of now, meron na ba silang parang inkling na both of you are in showbiz, both the parents. 
Si Zion po is very artsy. He loves drawing and sketching. He loves music. He loves singing. Um, yes, the 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 Elvis Presley, and the ba? Apo. He loves singing and. Um, so we'll see, but he's also very sporty and he's also doing good in school. So whatever he's doing again, po, I really want to push at uh, supportahan ko ano man yung ma- maging decision niya to do in life. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you. Good luck. Thank you, po, Ms. Leia. Good thank luck you. What to do? Thank you. Thanks, Leia. And now up next yeah. we have Mel Navarro. Hi, Mel. Pero ka pang paad ng soft drinks. <laughs> Ay, si, si Leia pala yan. Si Leia pala yan. Okay, so up next, we have Mel Navarro. Hi, Mel. Hi, hi, hi. Sorry. Makamiss ka. Grabe. Parang kanina lang kita nakita. <laughs> Sarah, gusto ko lang follow up. Sabi mo na you have a plan or you want to pitch uh, Action film with Richard. Um, so Richard and I po are currently meeting with directors and brainstorming on different ideas. Um, you know, during this downtime, we want to stay creative and we want to create concepts. So hopefully once we decide on something that has good potential, we can execute and start working on it. But uh, we're in a brainstorming phase. So, Bali, that will start you and Richard? Depende po. But we're open to working together again. It's been, I think, eight, nine years since we last worked together on screen. Meron ka pa bang dream leading man at this point? Um, anyone you know, um, that Viva trusts that would be a good fair for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Viva is ano, known also for mga Philippine adaptation, di ba? Kung meron kang napanood na foreign film, ano yung gusto mong gawin na Philippine set Foreign film na going uh, adaptation. So ever since the day I decided I wanted to act, which I think I was a teenager, uh, I, I've idolized Angelina Jolie for the longest time. And I remember watching uh, one of her action films with my dad and thinking, gusto kong gawin kung ano yung ginagawa niya, gusto kong maging kagaya niya. So, um, Maybe an action film or uh, maybe, you know, a superhero na, na pwedeng maging inspiring sa mga Filipinos, especially now na madaming uh, problema and negativity. Parang we want to uplift and, and give hope sa mga Filipinos. So maybe something like that. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. And up next, we have Tita Aster Amoyo. Hi, Tita. Oh. There. Beauty. Sorry. sorry. Sorry for the delay. Nagkaroon ko rin technical difficulty sa akin. It's a side ko. Sarah, how are you? Um, siguro ang una kong itatanong kay Sarah, uh, she's been, um, well, uh, she became a very young mom, a young wife, and the uh, I know you've been through a lot. So after all this, uh, uh, after all these trials, na including the pandemic, uh, how are you now? And papano ka nakako? Hello, po, Tita Aster. Thank you Hi. for your question. Um, yes, we've all gone through a lot, um, but I think that that is what makes us, you know, stronger, stronger human beings and um, more resilient. Um, I've been coping very well because of my family, uh, Richard, the kids, my mom is here, po, and my dad is in Switzerland, but I'm talking to him every day. And knowing that we're all healthy, we're all um, okay, we're all safe uh, is enough for me, you know, um, makes me feel grateful to be alive. <laughs> okay, my next question is, ano ang significance sa yo? ang um, ang 
or rather, I, I, sabihin ko na, ano significant sa'yo ng buwan ng March? Love. If uh, if people have February for, for, for Valentine's Day and love, I have my March. I have the month of March. I know that it was the beginning of the pandemic, but for us, for Richard and I, it was the beginning of a new chapter, our civil wedding, March 14. March 14, our civil wedding, March 21, Kai's birthday, March 16, my dad's birthday. So very important ng March sa akin. Isa ka pang nakakalimutan. Ano po? <laughs> March ka rin. Uh, March din nag-propose sa'yo si Richard. Yes, March din. So, apat. <laughs> So, Four. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, mo naman kami ng konti before I go. Um, kwentuhan mo naman kami ng konti about Kai at saka si, uh, at saka si Zion. Ilang taon na sila pareho at saka anong interest ng dalawa? Si Kai, kaka three years old lang po. Napakadaldal na nao. Napaka-cute. Uh, he's very, very active and mahilig ngayon siya sa basketball. Mahilig sa mga sports. Uh, sports and he's very good at basketball and any any sports related um, activities. See Zion on the other hand is such an artsy kid. He's seven years old turning eight. I can't believe he's turning eight. Um, April 29. He he's into um, arts and music and he loves reading he's doing great in school and i'm his teacher <laughs> um you know they're both they're, they're both coping very well uh during this time and uh they they're they're very lovely so thank you so much sara thank you sana maging magtuloy-tuloy pagiging active mo ulit thank you po thank you Thank you, Tita Aster. Up next, we have uh, Janelle Estiliori of Cinema Bravo, followed by Kate Adahar of Random Republica, then Alan Sancon. And then after that, that will be Matt Susara and Leia Bukas. So, um, Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Parang Hello. nasa isang magandang lugar ka. Can you share with us kung nasan ka? Tsaka anong Sa bahay lang po. <laughs> Sa bahay lang po. Anong mga pinagkakabalahan mo lately? Homeschooling, making sure um, Zion does his homework, helping out with the kids, and uh, spending time with Richard kasi uh, he's with us now for a period of time and then he goes back to work for another period of time. So whenever nasa bahay siya kasama namin, we make sure to spend some quality time and make up for the lost time that he was at work. Mm-mm. Magandang timing nga no kasi kababirthday lang ni Kai five days ago at nandiyan si Richard. Anong mga re- realization mo as a parent? As a parent? Um, realization, especially when you mention Kai's birthday na um, it's the little things that mean the most. Katulad ng pag-celebrate ng birthday ng mga kids namin. Katulad last year, we celebrated their birthday. Very intimate. And for Kai's birthday, I remember last year, kami lang ni mommy yung gumawa ng cake. And it was really intimate and masaya. Talagang tunay na saya. So um, it's the little things that matter. It's about being, you know, with your family, with your loved ones, and, and being healthy that matters most to me. So... In the long process, syempre nakakamiss din ang pag-arte, di ba? Yes. And naging mas focus ka sa family. Uh, looking back, may may mga times ba na parang nag, nagkaroon ka ng regret na nauna ang pag, pagiging parent mo kesa sa pagiging pagpapatuloy ng career mo, acting-wise? Um, not, no, not really. Kasi I'm only 27 po. So there's a bright future ahead and I'm actually happy that I'm a mother of two I am married yes everything happened very quickly at at a young age for me but there's also beauty in that because uh, you know I get to be with the kids I get to I, I they know I'm their mom but I can be their friends too 
And uh, again, I'm 27. There's so many things that I can still do. I can still make my dreams come true in terms of my career. And um, there's a lot of possibilities. Uh, for my last question, sa process ng paggawa ng teleserye at saka pelikula, ano yung pinaka nami-miss mong aspect? Um, siguro working with people and um, being creative with a director, with a writer, um, the process of a scene, um, Siguro the creative part is the one that I miss the most, the being able to discuss scenes and, and create something good and meaningful. So good luck then sa, sa bagong endeavor mo when it comes to creative side ng pagproduce. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Janelle Estiliori of Cinema Bravo. Up next, we're going to have Kate Adhar of Random Republica, Alan Sancon, Matt Suzara of La Quachera Lovers, Leo Bucas of Push and McRichard, Pag Likawan of Lionheart TV, and John Ledesma of Rise and Shine. So, hi, Kate. How are you? Hi, um, hi Sarah. Yung hi, question Kate. Ko, uh, question is, we know how tedious it is to homeschool toddlers. So ano yung mga, and being a wife pa, um, ano yung mga ginagawa mo for self-care? Ngayon, especially ngayong may pandemic. Um, self-care, I, I work out. Um, before I start my day, I say a prayer of gratitude and I meditate a little bit and then I work out. Um... By doing that, parang feeling ko kahit anong kailangan kong gawin as a mom, as a wife, and at home, kaya kong gawin kasi na-clear ko na yung mind ko and my body is ready for um, whatever task you have to do. So, yung self-care ko is working out. Thanks. And yung second is nakita namin yung family dynamics nyo through the reality show na It Takes Guts to Be a Gutierrez, no? Nakita namin that you get along well with your mother-in-law na kilala naman natin na um, strict and medyo mataray, di ba? Yun ang image niya. Pero ikaw, kung ano, ano yung mabibigay mong tips sa mga daughters-in-law to get along well with their mother, mothers-in-law din? Ano yung naging um, secret between Miss Anna? I, my tip would be to not judge a book by its cover. Kasi nga, as you said, we all know, Tita Annabelle, na masungit, mataray, uh, this, this, this. But for me, the more I got to know her, the more I was patient and quiet. Kasi pwede mo namang, you have the option na, di ba, sabayan mo yung level ng ingay niya or, you know, um, be on that same level. But for me, being patient and quiet and listening pays off kasi nga, you get to know a person more. Katulad kay tita, akala ko din, um, nakakatakot siya, nak- uh, masungit, maingay. <laughs> yes, sometimes she's still maingay, pero uh, more than anything, uh, napaka-thoughtful niya, napaka-bait, napaka-thoughtful um, talaga. Kasi minsan, uh, magpapadala sa bahay ng kung ano-ano, uh, hindi, naman, hindi naman namin binanggit na kailangan ng ganito, ng ganyan, magpapadala ng pagkain, minsan magpapadala ng kortina, yung mga, yung mga bagay na uh, uh, naalala niya na kailangan sa bahay. You know, she, she, she is sweet in that way. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Up next, we have Alan Sancon, followed by Matt Susara, Leia Bukas, and John Ledesma. So, Alan, are you ready? Hi. Hi, Alan. Hi, Zara. Hello. Hello, Pro. Hello, Pro. Hello, Zara. Kung baga ngayon, nag-sign ka ng contract with Viva. Parang panigurado, ano, maraming projects na naman yung darating sa'yo during the pandemic. How you ano protect your family, especially your two kids? Pagdating sa siya, mayroon nagbo-work kayo outside, eh, di ba? Pag-uwi nyo, how you protect yourself na, na hindi makuha yung virus, hindi makawa yung mga bata, how you protect? Para kayo ni Richard, especially Richard mm-hmm. ngayon, di ba, na nasa labas? Mm-hmm. Uh, never-ending RT-PCR swab test, <laughs> never-ending alcohol sa kamay. Um, 
just by being careful, kami naman ni Richard, we don't go out unless it's important, unless it's for work. And when we, pag bumabalik kami sa bahay, um, lagi kaming may RT-PCR test uh, to make sure we're all okay. Kasi we used to see our parents a lot. But now that uh, there's new rules, syempre, panibago na naman. Pero I, I used to see my mom a lot and si Charden with Tita Annabelle. So kailangan talaga maingat kami. But um, since Charden is working before and after ng tapings niya, meron silang RT-PCR. And same for me, if I have to do a shoot sa studio or leave the house, uh, swab test din. Yung second question ko, kasi maraming nag-abang ng dapat, ano nyo eh, di ba? Ano, bonggang wedding. <laughs> Tapos biglang nangyari yung pandemic. And then, nabalita na nag-civil wedding nga kayo. Pakikwenta lang sa amin kung ano yung nangyari during the the civil wedding, how, how you make it, gumagam, special pa din, in spite of pandemic, parang gano'n. Yeah. Um, the day na, I think we decided to do the civil wedding a day before and then medyo mabilis yung mga pangyayari but we decided to do the civil wedding kasi um, we decided you know what with everything that's going on ano ba talaga yung real reason kung bakit tayo magpapakasal which is our love for each other and our commitment for each other uh, we're not doing it for the amount of people that are going there we're doing it for for you and for me. So, um, ayun, we decided to last minute plan everything and uh, change of plans talaga, kumbaga. And with all the uncertainties that were happening, parang we were just focused on making the civil happen wedding and thank God it did. Follow up lang yan sa question na yan. Kumbaga, pero may plano pa rin mang ituloy yung yung grand wedding ninyo or parang okay na yun at the moment may may plano pa rin ba kayong ituloy Meron pa rin po um, sayang yung wedding dresses ko <laughs> um, no meron pa rin kasi we want to celebrate with uh, our families our extended families our friends um, hindi namin yun nagawa so hopefully one day pag nawala itong pandemic magawa na namin yun so yes, we still want to have a big celebration. Okay, thank you, Sarah, and congr- thank you. congratulations to your new thank contest. You, thank you. Thank you, Alan Sancon. And up next is from La Quachera Lovers, Matt Sarah. Hi, Matt. Good afternoon, po. Hello. Um, question ko po, Miss Sarah. Um, any plans of uh, reviving your YouTube channel po? Uh, new contents po? Parang three years na po kasi siyang bakante. <laughs> um, yes, actually, pinag-uusapan namin ni Chard uh, and we're considering uh, a YouTube channel as a family. So hopefully, pag mas may time siya, we can do that. Um, but yeah, it's something na we're considering. We just need time kasi nga busy din siya sa ang probinsyano and pag umuwi siya, we really want to spend quality time. So, yes, I definitely plan on um, either continuing on that YouTube channel or making one specifically for our family. Uh, follow-up question ko po. Um, meron po bang plan, plans po na sundan po yung dalawas? Parang target niyo po ba magkaroon ng baby girl in the future po? Um, <laughs> as of now... Um, I want to focus on work. I want to focus on Chard, Zion, and Kai. But if God willing, and Gusun, I mean, if God willing, I would love to have a girl, but I don't think now is the right time. Okay, but thank you for your congrats for it. Thank you. Thank you, Matt Suzara. Up next, we have Leo Bukas of Porsche. Hi, Leo. Hi, Mama Leo. Hi, naririnig ako. Yes, very clear. Uh, but hindi ko nakikita ang San Francisco mo na background. Eh, Naka-laptop ako ngayon. Okay. <laughs> anyway, ang, ang tanong ko muna first kay Sarah. Sarah, curious lang ako kung ano yung mga projects before na hindi natuloy kasi naapektuhan ng pagpasok ng pandemic. Mm. Um, maraming mga na-postpone na shoots, obviously. 
But in terms of uh, projects na um, sa TV or big screen, uh, I waited for the right time and this is the right time. So before this, before this day, I asked uh, Viva Management to do more work from home, do more um, studio shoots na madali lang. And, you know, I'm grateful na very understanding sila and very, very supportive because they know na I'm very hands-on and I want to be there uh, as a mom and as a wife. And they gave that to me, which I'm very grateful for. But there's, you know, there's a period for everything and now is a period of, of work for me. So this is the time. Uh, my last question for you is, hindi ka ba yung praning na mom? Kasi, uh, di ba, si Chad nagsushuti na ang probinsyano sa Malayo. He, kasi di ba, yung, lalo yung nag-surge ngayon yung COVID-19 cases, hindi ka ba gano'n na i-remind mo si Richard na ganito o pagdating sa bahay dapat ganito, ganyan. Kasi yung ibang mga mam, lalo pa may, may dalawang bata ka na high risk kasi bata, di ba? Paano mo, paano mo yun... inaayos? Um, hindi naman ako ganun ka running because I know we are being responsible and, and careful. With Richard then napaka-responsable niya before and after work, kagaya na sinabi ko earlier, nag RT-PCR swab test siya. Ako mm-hmm. din po, if I have to go out of the house for a shoot, swab test then. Mm-hmm. Um, so, maingat talaga kami. Uh, we make sure na we're always negative and stay negative sa pero, testing. <laughs> pero si Chad, ba pag uwi ng bahay, uh, kinikiss ka agad ang babies, ang mga anak, hinahag ba ka agad? Kasi di ba, minsan hindi muna, ganun. Uh, pag umuwi siya ng bahay, uh, meaning negative na siya. Uh, so, pwede na, di ba? So, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Lay of Porsche. And now we have from Rise and Shine from PTV Pilipinas, Jolly. Hi, Jolly. Hello, po. good afternoon. My question po is, may, even before po nung, I mean, magmabuntis kayo or nag, nagkaroon kayo ng family, may mga anatisans na, 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 na nagpupo siya inyong sumali ng mga beauty pageant. As of now po, ma'am, if ever magbibigyan ka ng chance na sumali like Mrs. World, are you open to that? Mrs. World? Meron pa lang oh, oh, <laughs> Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, We'll see. My mind's open to everything. So we'll see. Are you trying to limit your projects po? Especially now ngayong may pandemic to protect your family then? Um, I'm trying to make anything that I work on meaningful. Kasi if I leave the house or work on something and that means being away from my family, it has to be meaningful. So, thank you, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Jolly. Thanks, Jolly. Oh, Sarah, ire recruit na kita. Next noble queen of the universe. We <laughs> <I> love it. <laughs> May ganun pala. Meron, okay. meron. Pero matitindi yung mga kalaban. Pero kayang-kaya mo eh. Matitindi yung mga kalaban. Pero kayang-kaya mo yan. Okay, so before we end the press conference, Sarah, would you like to say a message, especially to all your supporters now that we are uh, live right now in Facebook? And um, of course, uh, to all your supporters now that you're with Viva. First of all, I want to thank my Viva family for trusting me for five years and now another three years. I'm so, so grateful that they've supported me. They've been there with me, whatever is going on, was going on. I'm so grateful to them, to Tita Veronique, to Boss Vic, to Karel. Um, I'm so grateful for everything and I'm so excited for this new chapter. And to the fans, maraming salamat na nandyan sila. Whatever is going on in my life, they're always there. So I'm very, very grateful and excited for this new chapter. Well, there you have it. That's Sarah Labati. And that concludes our press conference. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Don't forget to support Sarah in her upcoming projects with Viva. Thank you, everyone, and keep safe. I'd like to also uh, remind all of you, don't forget to follow Viva Artist Agency on their Facebook page. In Facebook, it's at Viva Artists. 
agency and Twitter, it's V at Viva Artists. And for Instagram, it's at Viva Artists Agency for more exclusive updates. My name is Giselle Sanchez Buencamina, Noble Queen of the Universe International. Thank you so much to our press people and to our online vloggers for your time. Thank you and bye-bye. Have a great day ahead. Thank you, Sarah, again. Love you. Love you, Ate Giselle. Thank you. Take care.